you guys. First quarter about to get underway. What's different about this game than a game against any of the other six schools? Well, it's going to be different for, for every player out there. The team has been perfecting their defensive scheme and improving game after game. The green and white expect to hold down the Blue Eagles offensive arsenal and fire back on offense to take control of the game. Well, that shot's going to be there all day for, for CJ Austria. He's going to have to take advantage of that and knock it down. Rafi leaves it to Kwame in rhythm. You are very capable of doing that, too. That's why I'm careful with my jokes. I have a couple, but then there are some I, I don't throw out there. As Mamu lines up a three, courtesy of G and Mamuya. Yeah, Mamu not usually known. I mean, we know he can shoot, but he's more known for his defense. It, it's now a true jump shot in the sense that he really elevates before releasing it. And, you know, that's two years' worth of work there as Rafi Verano scores on the other end. Tyler now on the floor for the Blue Eagles, along with Gio Chu, Rafi Verano, David Defonso, and Gian Mamuya. Gio fakes the handoff, will attack Phillips, and Chu will have success on that first challenge, on that first uh, incursion between the two backup bigs. Lasalle will try to get the big man going. There he is, healing Verano, but Mamu with a steal. Gian completes it. Mamuya with a touchdown. And that's enough for Mano Derek Pumara to say, uh-uh, uh-uh. This run stops right here, right now. Let's talk about it. As Mamuya comes up big on defense. Fun fact, I was teammates with her brother, Mike D. Governor Mike D. But Hazar and Winston, the lone, the two starters, still left on the floor para Salasal. As Shawnee dribbles into a 17-foot jumper. Kuhn. Has a height advantage on Nonoy, gets it to Dio. Tyler will leave that one short, and Nonoy had it stripped from him by Ansh Kwame as Kuhn gets the reload three. Mamu refuses the screen. Jumper is up, jumper will not go, and Shawnee Winston comes away from the pack. Shawnee with Kwame behind him, leaves it for Nonoy for three. Cash money! 16 to 11 as another Ateneo LaSalle chapter is in the books. The story of that first quarter, Ateneo getting on the offensive glass. Ooh, Ooh. Mike Phillips with a putback. What, what, what about that second jump? So he gets bumped here. So he's gonna fall down. He gets up right away. And he's able to tap it in as well. I love that energy. Ateneo gets it back. They get it back with only 14 on their shot clock, however, as Kwame. Chris Kuhn playing in his first year for Ateneo. He goes all the way and is blocked. Ateneo gets it right back, though. Kwame versus Ben. Ange inside, off the bank, and Ange Kwame took the hit. And meditation sessions. Not only that, but he also makes it a point to call his family and finish up all homework, too. I guess you can say he makes the perfect student athlete. He's passionate, intense, and definitely dedicated. Now back to the panel. Well, thanks a lot, Martina. Kuhn lines up a triple and hits it from the corner. Multiple skills. Can handle, can pass, can definitely shoot. You know, there's a word for that. Versatile. And there's a go-ahead pass by him to Andrade and Josue Ateneo. Team captain Mamu was killing it on the court. And can you believe that it was just one PE class? We can see that at a very young age palang, he was more ready than ever to give us all for basketball. And with this performance so far. Playing in their first Ateneo La Salle game as Nele takes it away. Mamuyak with another steal. Mamuyak with a look back and a finish. Winston, they're down 11. Under 10 to shoot. Lojera, Lojera finds some space. Kurt throws it up, no go, and finally there's a follow by Mike Phillips. That's his third dunk attempt, and he gets that one to go. But Gio Chu on the other end makes up for it quick. Watch this follow. Lojera left it a little too strong. Off the backboard, off the rim, off your head, says Mike Phillips. He caught it behind his head. Just adds a little bit more energy, momentum to your team. Is Phillips underneath again? In a rhythm now is Mike Phillips. Josh Lazaro now part of the mix. Inside goes Mamuyak this time. Balti was waiting. And it's 3-2, 3-5 on the big board. If I had his skills, I'd probably still be playing. 32-35.
We wish Larry and all of our other colleagues all the best. This one a little too strong as Austria will track it down para Salazar. Nele, stop, pop, three, cash money! For a split second there, I thought he was wearing red and white again because that was something that was to the green archers. They'll have under nine to work with. Phillips fake, Phillips hook. Phillips still has it. Another hook, and this one will drop in. Bright, bright future for this kid. If he maintains this activity. SJ with it. SJ Paren, SJ finds a gap in the defense, and Belangel. Balti hangs on to it, fake handoff to Lojera. He will post up Kuhn. Balti, Baltazar, shoulder fake, hook shot. You know, with the arena usually split right down the middle. Kwame underneath. Oh, big block by Michael Phillips. How often do you see Ansh Kwame get rejected underneath? <laughs> Not very often. Lojera, floater, Kurt Lojera gets LaSalle to within one. Evan turns the corner, catches Kwame not looking. Evan leaves it a little short as well. Tyler quickly reloads, give, go, three, catch. As each game goes. Now it's Ateneo with a lead extended by Tyler Tio. Gio out to Mamu. Mamuya draws a crowd, push shot by Lazaro. No, if you ask Josh and the Lazaro family, they're gonna say that's an assist. You know in boxing how styles make fights? Mm. It's the same thing in basketball, especially um, with your teammates. You wanna find the guys that can complement each other. Underneath, Nele, knockout play as Portsky. And two-man game, Padrigao. Gives it to Lazaro on the spin off the post. No, Kwame with a cleanup for Ateneo. And the Blue Eagles will win another third quarter. Incredibly skilled with great footwork. But the motor from first quarter to fourth quarter is truly special. Here's Shawnee Winston after a LaSalle steal. Oh, but they give it right back as Mamuya fashionably late, but right on time. And David Deponso gets a lefty touchdown. Still too early to call it, but LaSalle needs to start acting quick. Shawnee, 13-footer. Finally, that drops for Winston. 15-foot free throw line. Can they get a stop? Lojera interrupts the play, interrupts the pass. Mike Phillips is to the ground, and Shawnee Winston comes up away from it. Winston to Lojera, corner three. Bang, bang! Their offense here. Inching closer to the final five minutes. Kuhn underneath. Kwame with a great seal. Great defense there by Dave Defonso. Here's SJ with some space. Belangel inches closer. 0 for 4 from 3. Just too many weapons for SJ Belangel. Evanelli has that in his bag as well. And he hits a short jumper. But Ateneo will have something to say for sure. Winston. Oh, had a streaking Kurt Lojera and tried to get it to him, but Ateneo able to stifle and stop that fast break try. Kwame against two. Kwame inside. Too tall down there. That jump hook, automatic in the paint. Tyler gets it to Ange out on an island. Now SJ. Belangel runs the pick and roll with Kwame, and Belangel escapes again. Do a double take there, and Balti slipped. Evan, good look at a three with Kwame closing out. Oh, Ateneo ball screens, just so tough to defend as Mamuya gets to his spot and nails down the jumper and shows off that much improved jump shot that we talked about as Mark Godoy. Dave on the breakaway. Dave with a two-on-one. Ildefonso will waltz. Maybe looked weird on TV. Put out his hand to the ear, Hulk Hogan style, towards his own bench. He's and I think he was telling his own bench. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. The final reads 74-57 as Coach Dab Baldwin crosses over to the LaSalle side of things.